crop circles are like giant paintings on the ground. But guess what? Some folks believe that aliens in UFOs created them. How did UFOs and these cool designs get mixed up? And why is it always happening in Southern England? Hey there. Welcome to Fact Dose, where we're dedicated to unlocking the wonders of the world one dose at a time. Today, we're diving into a mysterious and mind-boggling topic that has perplexed scientists and enthusiasts alike. Get ready for the baffling connection, ancient aliens and thousands of crop circles. Let's unravel this enigma together. Doug Bauer and Dave Corley, two pals from near Winchester, England, are the real stars of this story. Back in 1978, they were sitting in a pub, just thinking about what kind of fun they could have. The UFO craze was in full swing during those days, thanks to a retired Air Force officer talking about the famous Roswell incident in 1947, where something strange supposedly crashed in the New Mexico desert. Inspired by these UFO stories, Doug and Dave decided to make something special. They wanted to create a fake UFO landing site, just for fun, so they came up with a clever plan make mysterious patterns in a fields that would look like UFOs had landed. And you know what? They did it. These patterns, called crop circles, got everyone talking. People started thinking that maybe aliens had made them. It became a big mystery. But the real secret was that it was just Doug and Dave having a laugh. They used simple tools and ropes to flatten the crops and make cool designs. So, the next time you see a crop circle and wonder if aliens made it, remember that it's more likely the work of two friends who wanted to have a bit of fun in the fields. Back in the day, Doug Bauer and Dave Corley were armed with some simple tools like boards, rope, and a clever idea. They even had a twist of wire attached to a baseball hat to help them make their amazing designs in the fields. They went into a field and started creating what we now know as crop circles. But guess what? Nobody noticed at first, they had to go out into the fields many times over several years before people started paying attention. When the whole world finally heard about their strange designs, it was a big deal. People who believed in UFOs showed up in large numbers, hoping to find some kind of extraterrestrial connection to this crop circles. But Doug and Dave decided it was time to tell the truth. They admitted that they had made the circles as a prank, not aliens. Since then, Crop circles have become a mix of art and a fun thing for tourists to check out. They're not seen as alien signs as much as they used to be. However, there are still some true believers, cult croppies, who think aliens might be behind at least some crop circles. These days, it's not aliens but marketers who sometimes create crop circles. They've been used to promote big events like the Olympics and even computer chips. So, while crop circles aren't alien messages, they sure have become a creative way to get people's attention. What are crop circles? Crop circles are huge, intricate designs that appear in fields where crops like wheat, barley, or canola grow. They're made by people, not aliens or mysterious forces. These artists use wooden boards to stomp down the crops and create these patterns. They try to hide their footprints in the tracks left by tractors, making it look like the designs just magically landed from the sky. Crop circles come in all shapes and sizes. Some are simple circles, while others are more complex with triangles, spinner shapes, and crescents. The place where you see them the most is in southern England. Over the years, artists have created amazing masterpieces in these fields. But here's the interesting part. These crop circles have also shown up in other parts of the world. There was a time in the 1990s when they appeared in the state of Illinois, USA. Some people thought it might be kids playing tricks, while others had different ideas. Now, not all crop circles are made by humans. In the past, there have been some mysterious patterns in Australia. These weren't really crop circles because they weren't in fields. They were in a lagoon in northern Queensland. The farmer who found them thought he saw a flying saucer, but locals said that these kinds of circles were common during the wet season. They believed it was caused by strong winds or something called willy-willies, which are a bit like dust devils. Famous crop circles, the history of crop circles goes back a long time. One of the earliest stories dates to 1678, in a little book called The Mowing Devil. 
It's about a farmer who didn't want to pay someone to cut his oats, so the devil supposedly did it overnight, leaving round circles. Although these circles were in the crops themselves, not flattened. Some people who believe in crop circles use this story to say they have ancient origins. In 1996, a famous crop circle called the Julia Set showed up near Stonehenge. A local pilot claimed he flew over the field an hour before it appeared and saw nothing, but when he flew over it again, he saw a spiral of circles, making people think it was a paranormal event. However, the pilot's account was a bit shaky, and a local who made crop circles said they made the Julia set the night before it was found, not in broad daylight. And then, there's a cute story from 2009 about simple crop circles in Tasmania, Australia. These circles were not made by aliens or people but by wallabies. These little guys got into an opium poppy field, which is used to make medicines like morphine. After eating the poppies, the wallabies got high as a kite and started jumping around in circles, accidentally flattening the plants. It's a funny twist in the world of crop circles. There you have it, the baffling connection, ancient aliens and thousands of crop circles. We've embarked on a journey through history science, and the mysteries of the unknown. Are crop circles the result of human creativity, extraterrestrial involvement, or something entirely else? The decision is yours to make. Thank you for joining us on this intriguing fact dose adventure. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more mind-boggling discoveries and to unlock the wonders of the world. Until next time. Keep exploring, stay curious, and continue seeking the truth with Fact Dose.